<laughs> Hello! People, my name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what is? Ah, have you heard? Wait, do you know that Tap Tap Send is live in Texas? Oh, you didn't know. We went to New York. Now we are live in Texas. So people in Texas and around, all you have to do is to download Tap Tap Send. Yes, Tap Tap Send has become the most unique, secure, and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere. Okay? So download Tap Tap Send on Google Play Store or App Store. And when you're in Texas or around, you just have to put in the code TXGH. What did I say? T X G H and you get ten dollars for your first transaction you make. But yeah, my hammer there. Tell us, you drew huh? Very soon we will conquer everywhere. <laughs> Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send, it's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs> Capstone E Global Consort Limited. Hey, you make we be a registered nurses, drivers, a homo GCC license, NFA securities. Hey, you make we be a who drove this to say Dubai, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, NFA USA. Na me ne wakasa CC akra. Homo per registered nurses. Hey, you make we USA. Akoya you make we just ka pudro. Anne. Na enya we po. Capstone E Global Consort Limited. Hey, Sanso Buama. Sao peka ato fria manoni. Homo ba ya hon shisha ya nyama. Na unse timiaka. Ka biara ya dawa kumaso wa bra wo mre ho e ji omo si bra omo so ye sesia wo be wo omo otama community na omo ni ashama timba market ene di hwe ni mu ana se fro omo e wo 0599183083 ana 0302986573 ama no ni fo so fro omo plus 8210218112278 capstone e global consort limited your success is our business In our bid to try to exhaust all the angles of the song that has been released by Sir Kodier called Try Me and the fact that Yvonne Nelson will never sit aloof for some of these things to be happening around her, we have decided to give you the other side of it even before I sit with my people in the evening for us to do general reviews of the problem. As it stands now, this is the second editorial. I promised you I'll be coming back, and therefore, I needed to fulfill that promise. So I'm here again. Thanks for joining me once again. To those who enjoyed the first one, thanks, and uh, recommend it to others to enjoy as well as we move on to do the part two of it. Before, in the evening, the whole team, making up of in Team Dodo Solomon Chemo, Kojokin, as well as um, Derek Money, we were set to do the reviews and the breakdowns. That even before I read Yvonne Nelson's response to Sir Kodier, let me tell you my opinion about this. Because I know there wouldn't be enough time for me to do it again. So let me tell you my opinion about what is happening now. First of all, I said earlier that I was not expecting this from Sir Kodier, and really and truly, I was not. I was really not expecting this from Sarkozy. I never knew Sarkozy was going to respond to this so quickly. Now, we know the things that will make Sarkozy respond. In fact, we never knew, but now we know. Now we know what to push Sarkozy to come and respond to some of these things. <laughs> and he's done that so beautifully, as a matter of fact. It is good that he's responded. I know there are varying opinions out there about the response, whether it is good or bad. But from where I sit... I still want to believe that it is good Sir Kode has responded. And these are what, why I think it is good he has responded. One, for him to have mental fortitude to be able to carry on with what he's doing. Remember that Sir Kode is on a tour. He has played Italy successfully. He's yet to play uh, Belgium, I think Antwerp and um, Holland as well. My, my producer will be sharing all those files for you on the screen. He's yet to play some of the European countries that he's, he has been built to perform. So it means that he needs to have a clear state of mind to perform. It means that he needs to have a free state of mind to be able to be himself and to perform. So the release of this particular song will give him that motivation. At least, they say that 
when people keep saying men don't cry, men don't cry, sometimes even when men are dying with him, they don't want to say it. And the more they don't want to say it, the more they get hurt. But this time around, Sarkodie wants everybody to know that he's human. Whatever is happening is eating him up. And one of the things he can do to clear himself is to release the song. That is why, to start with, I would agree that he's released the song. Because he needed to clear this off his mind. Sometimes I speak to um, some artists, especially when it comes to people disturbing them online and they come attacking them left, right, and center. What I asked them, they said, yes, sometimes you have to also do it because the more you allow it, this information, you see it. All the information around Sarkozy, he's also consuming it, unfortunately. He's online. He listens to radio. He listens, he watches videos online. So some of these things will be coming into him because he's also a consumer of the information. And the information, the moment it enters you, they eat you up. And I'm sure Sarkozy doesn't want this to be eating him up all his life. Therefore, he'll do this. After doing this, he'll be free. he also feel like, yes, I'm relaxed because now... All the anger that was pent up in him, he has now put them out. All the spent up anger in him, he's now put them out. And that is why, personally, I'm happy. So that doesn't kill him slowly. So it is good he's done this. Now, point number two. You know, as it stands now, everybody wanted to hear Sarkozy's end of the story. Everybody wanted to hear Sarkozy's end of the story. And if it takes thousands of years, thousands of years to come, Still, someone will ask him a question about it. He'll go for interviews. People ask him questions about it. Anytime someone meets him anywhere, they will try to ask him questions about it. Because he doesn't want this to be haunting him when he goes for interviews, that's why he will see the need to put out this information now. So that in the near future, if he appears on any platform and you ask him about it, he can tell you, I responded in, try me. So... Sarkozy does not want this to be an albatross hanging on his neck forever. He does not want this to be, never. He wants this to be cleared once and for all. Because, like I'm saying, even if it keeps thousand years, one day he'll appear on an interview platform and someone will ask him, so Sarkozy, this is one else, matter, blah, 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 boom, boom, boom. Because he doesn't want to be looking for answers at that time. He's giving you try me. Everything he won't say is in there. Because, after all, Everybody wants to know Sarkozy's side of the debate or of what is happening. Everybody wants to know, really, did Sarkozy even date her? So now he's answered that, yes, I dated her. Did Sarkozy impregnate her? He's answered, I impregnated her. Did Sarkozy take her to um, the hospital for abortion? He's answered how it happened and when it happened. So to me, that alone puts out the information from his perspective. And that will give him some satisfaction. It will give him some relaxation. At least he knows that he's also satisfied some people who were hurt. Because, yes, yeah, some people love Sarkozy. And when issues of this nature come around him and his brand, they will be hurt. I'm sure this will give them a little bit of relief. Knowing that, yes, our king is not down. He has also fired back. They will be fine. So this fire back, as much as some people would not approve of it, I am for it. It is serving a good purpose. Mentally spiritually and physically for Sarkozy. It's a good purpose. So nobody should fight him as to why he's responded and all that. The response was necessary. Now the next point is that Yvonne Nelson is cashing out of what is happening. And he's using Sarkozy's name to cash out. Look at the number of people buying the books. Look at the number of people buying online. Even physical copies as well here in Ghana. Do you know that there is still high demand for the book? Because people still want to read into detail to know what really happened or what transpired. So this is something that if you're also a smart person, you not sit for someone to eat on your head. Like someone to put you down, put food on your head and be eating. And the crumbles will be falling on you. No, Sarkozy doesn't want to do this. So he has, been, oh, he has also been smart to cash out in this as well. He has also been smart to cash out. So now, while people are buying the book, Online, physical copies and other, other things, Sarkozy is also making money on his YouTube channel. Let's share the proceeds. After all, we did it together. We were all involved. So why do you alone want to eat? We were all involved. Everybody was part of it. I contributed, you contributed. So why do you want to eat alone? Let's share. And that's what Sarkozy is saying. That let's share. Make your money from your book 
I'm also going to make my money from uh, my song. That's why, to me, if I look at it from that angle, then Obedi was right. Because, yes, Yvonne is cashing out. Yvonne is cashing out big time. So why should he suffer for it? When they all enjoyed it. When the sex was happening, they all enjoyed it. I'm sure Sarko there got orgasm. Yvonne also got orgasm. Maybe they even had orgasm at the same time. Joint orga orgasm. <laughs> Maybe that's how it happened. So why should you be enjoying money from our joint orgasm alone? Then me, I suffer. I won't suffer for this. Let's all enjoy it. So Sarko there has been smart, if you ask me. Yes, I know there are other angles that are coming out, especially opposite angles about the release of it. But me, I'm for the release. He has to release it. Now, after the release, Yvonne Nelson seems to be paying still. So he has been, she has been putting out some tweets. And I want to put out some tweets. He, he, she says, In my book, I narrated how you got me pregnant. How you couldn't wait for me to get rid of it. How you drove me to have an abortion. As usual, you want to use rap to rubbish a pain a young woman felt. We both have daughters. Let's see what life throws at them. Mm, mm, mm. So here, Yvonne Nelson seems to be throwing some curses around. When she said, we both have daughters. Let's see what life throws at them. So Yvonne Nelson is trying to say that. What you've done to me, maybe someone would do to your daughter. Someone might do to my daughter as well. So think about it. That is what he's saying. Another one where he said, in my book, I narrated how you got me pregnant, how you, wouldn't, how you couldn't wait for me to get rid of it, how it drove me to have an abortion. As usual, you want to use rap to rubbish a pain of a young woman. So this is what Yvonne Nelson is saying, that when she is expressing her pain, Sakura wants to use rap. Madam, what do you want her to do? What do you want him to do? He's an artist, as a matter of fact. He might not have that long time to wait to write a book. Publishing a book takes time here and there. No, he doesn't have that time. So, he wants to just do it in his best lane ever. That's rap. And that is where he did it. Now, it says insults won't work, Michael. Insults won't work, Michael. Respect womanhood. I'm happy the world gets to see who you are playing this and the real you. Young women get to learn from this. You would get the applause for a rap. Still doesn't change the truth. Mm. There's a point here as well. That insults won't work. Michael. And Yvonne is still calling Sarkode Michael. She doesn't call Sarkode Sarkode. As we all do. She has a special way of addressing him. Michael. That sounds more romantic, isn't it? So, insults won't work. Michael. Respect womanhood. I'm happy the world gets to see how you are playing this and the real you. Of course, it's one of the things that I know at the end of the day Sarkode will be paying for. Because everybody sees Sarkodie as the guy with the white clothes. Unfortunately, this has become a blemish or a dent in that cloth. And obviously, he wouldn't be happy about that. I know he would never be happy about that. Now, the next tweet. He says, And would you have readily agreed for me to keep a pregnancy when you were in a serious relationship with another lady who would become your wife? Your street line is played out. When Sarkodie said, Yeah, you cry, you belong to the streets. Yvonne is also asking that, would you have readily agreed for me to keep her pregnancy when you were in a serious relationship with another lady? Who would become your wife? Your street line is played out. So once again, uh, Yvonne Nelson is making reference to um, um, Stacey, uh, Tracy Success, that Sarah Cordier would want her to keep the pregnancy, whilst at the same time, he keeps the woman that he was having then. Yvonne says, no, it won't play out. Now, in another one, he says, Michael, you claim I was desperate to abort because I needed to complete school in 2010. I needed to complete school. In 2010, when I became pregnant, I had completed the university. Anybody can verify this. I wasn't in school. And you know it. If you want to lie, find a logical lie. Mm. Michael, you claim I was desperate to abort because I needed to complete school. In 2010, when I became pregnant, I had completed university. Anybody can verify this. I wasn't in school, and, and you know it. If you want to lie, find an illogical lie. Find an, illog an illogical lie. Well, maybe a logical lie, I'm, I'm sure. And this is also another problem. 
Now, Yvonne Nelson is trying to tell Sarkozy that even his response, Sarkozy came to tell a lie. That is what Yvonne Nelson is trying to say with this tweet, that, yes, you are talking about, I, wanted to keep, I didn't want to keep the pregnancy because I was, pre I was in school and I wanted to complete school. But then, Yvonne Nelson wants to say that, no, school was not a problem. School was not a problem. The problem was Sarkozy. Now, she comes in with another thing that says, I was pregnant at the time I launched my Glaucoma Foundation around October 2010. I graduated from Central University in October 2010. It was my final year, but I would, uh, but I would, have, I would have completed my course work months before the October graduation and my pregnancy. I was only waiting for my... Okay, I had rather, but I had completed my course. My course work months before the October graduation and my pregnancy. I was only waiting for my certificate. Once again, Yvonne is still trying to tell Sarkozy that most of the things he is putting out, they are lies. But I'm shocked why Yvonne will be too quick for this rebuttal. I'm shocked why Yvonne will be too quick for this comeback. I'm sure she's had a field day for a very long time, selling her book. Sarkode was very silent and quiet. Sarkode releases this, no, Madame is throwing servos left, right, and center. Well, it is going to be a long week for us because in the coming days, we don't know what is going to happen. I know this is the time for women advocates. This is the time for men advocates. This is the time for pepper them and sugar them to take sides. And I know in the coming weeks, it is going to be a long journey. We can't wait for how these things will play out. Sammy Flex, I'm here. I'll be informing you as and when they come out. This is brief. I'll meet you again in the evening with the team where we do general reviews of it. On Sammy Flex TV, we give you nothing but the best. I'm out of here.